Alors merci Michael et je, je veux remercier donc euh, effectivement Michael de, de nous accueillir, Michael Worth et puis Julien de, de l'épauler. Euh, et puis vous remercier tous d'être ici par une si belle, si belle journée. Euh, mais la poésie et les belles journées ne sont pas antithétiques. Euh, donc euh, on on a décidé de, 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 de faire cette lecture autour de Marjorie Welles et Marcel Cohen parce que ça fait un moment que nous n'avons pas eu Marjorie Welles à double change et Marcel Cohen à double change non plus. Et euh, il me semblait que euh, par, leur, euh, par leur importance et aussi par leur travail, bien qu'ils ne soient pas les mêmes, euh, euh, il y avait des résonances. Marjorie Welles est, est artiste, elle est critique d'art, elle est poète. Euh, elle, euh, elle a donc euh, écrit euh, un nombre considérable de, de livres dont le dernier est euh, « So what, so that » Euh, dont, elle, dont elle lira des extraits. Euh, on peut également lire euh, in, the, in the Futurity Lounge ou euh, encore World Group, dont je lirai une, une traduction. Euh, effectivement, euh, les, les, les textes de So What, So That ont en quelque sorte posé une limite ultime à ce que votre serviteur, euh, dans le rôle du traducteur, pouvait faire, euh, et donc je n'ai réussi à traduire qu'un seul texte, parce que comme vous allez vous en apercevoir, euh, les textes de ce livre sont euh, d'une redoutable difficulté. Euh, euh, mais je, je, je pense que le texte que vous allez entendre traduit de « So what, so that », qui est le premier texte que Marjorie lira ensuite, euh, euh, vous donnera une sorte de, 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 de tonalité et de, et de poétique euh, qui est celle de ce livre. Dans son, dans son livre euh, « Le vocaluscrit », Patrick berard valdois euh, écrit des lectures auxquelles il assiste. Et euh, dans son livre, page 14, il y a une lecture qui est celle de Marjorie Welles, qu'elle a donnée en 2013 à la Galerie Off pour Double Change. Euh, C'est un très beau texte sur euh, Marjorie en train de lire. Je veux juste vous lire deux petits passages, euh, tout simplement pour introduire sa lecture. Elle élance des bribes de silence dans l'espace, posément d'une voix douce et tranchante, « One », en robe de laine violette, en avant sur sa chaise, jaune canari, « Two », elle lit posément solennel. Et puis vers la fin, « Three », elle s'élance dans une langue trébuchante, en délit, le flux perturbé, le silence en marche claudiquant et le sens se désagrège. Four. Alors, je vais commencer par lire donc, les deux traductions euh, que j'ai réalisées de Marjorie, et puis ensuite Marjorie, euh, Marjorie Guerra, mais si elle veut venir, puis voilà. Come to the stage. Marjorie Welsh, merci beaucoup. Le premier texte que j'ai traduit est issu donc, du, du livre World Group, et il s'intitule « Au nom de l'atelier ». Il est dédié à une poète américaine et artiste aussi qui s'appelle Norm McCall. Au nom de l'atelier. Un atelier. Jaune cadmium citron. Jaune cadmium clair. Atelier 1994. Jaune cadmium citron. Jaune cadmium lumière. Et l'œil d'un merle. Papier coupé en deux pour indiquer que le jaune cadmium clair n'est pas le jaune cadmium citron. Dans tout l'atrium, jaune cadmium citron prend le sol et l'air, de gauche, de droite, vif, quoiqu'inintelligible, jaune et jaune. Ressemblance inconséquente. Pigment formaté, à travers la lumière, à travers la lampe, à travers philanthropie, chimique papier, réactif, agrandissement, amélioré numériquement. Du jaune, ordinairement, optique, désormais chimique, incompatibilité. Atelier, un peu plus tard, le même jour. Ville jumelle, jaune clair, cadmium jaune clair, une voix est mise sur la peau. Papier plié pour indiquer que le cadmium jaune clair et le cadmium jaune citron sont logiquement intermittents sur le départ de la perception culturellement orienté vers Laurente. Atelier, un peu plus tôt le même jour. Trois jumelles, rouge et rouge, 
Ceci signifiant royal, ceci signifiant cal. Trois jumelles, racines et références, lieux communs, révisés, réitérés, res et réel. Rouge et rouge, voire représentation, voire histoire de l'art, voire histoire de l'art, le discours de la représentation du rouge. Jaune et jaune, toile jumelle, représentant le rouge, signifiant royal, augmentation et monnaie immortelle. Commencez ici. Seule la valeur catégorique à court, jaune, analycité. Seule valeur, seule, vide, à court, jaunissant, dans l'analycité, agissant. Sans titre. Parchemin moutarde, jaune vif, jaune chrome, jaune de nappe, jaune ocre, rouge, jaune, bleu. Tangram pour l'étude rouge et jaune et bleu par Hermel, en face de City Hall, noir et blanc, rouge et jaune ou bleu folié, moutarde et plis de parchemin, sauf du jaune vif, jaune chrome, sans exception. De plus en plus comme le jaune de Naples pour faire un exemple du jaune ocre. ocre. Du nom de l'atelier, la moutarde concède un ton à la paille, le parchemin prête un essai d'alibi, citron. Le jaune vif répudie un tel, comme un lendemain moderne, raillé. Le jaune chrome du parc, impensé, une entité aujourd'hui cède. Le jaune de Naples ne peut regarder. Nous qui rappelons plus l'arrêt ou la limitation de la fibre de verre, la variable de quelque chose de positif, jaune ocre permettant l'architecture. Maintenant un seuil semi-biographique à dépasser ma lecture. Une lune rouge ou son équivalent graphique, permission demandée d'admettre un cran en dessous. Ici, la terre jaune a écouté les vers et les hymnes pressés tout contre, voire frontispice. Pierre Serti, restons un peu, à nouveau, le soleil bleu trouve asile dans un avion, intrigue, dans un papier d'éternité, négatif ou interrogatif. Et le dernier texte, qui est un texte donc euh, extrait de So What So That, « Tu ne devrais pas ». Irritabilité, un mot, à des mots avec « puis-je avoir une guerre » constituée de prises alternatives. Après quoi un accident doit dire ou piquer en laissant tomber « où as-tu mis l'amour inconditionnel ?» Prends cette prise, une oreille, sans interruption frappée à plat, avec une teinte de « ça passe ou ça casse ». Ce mouvoir ou s'émouvoir est du verbatim malentendu. Le son déformé joué sur la cymbale crash ride en une circulation qui titillait. Quelle est cette chose Un instrument à cordes avec un front proéminent portant le poids d'un mot. Probablement le mot pour « aller », le mot pour « commence », une virgule. Pour quelques odes introuvés sur l'échelle originelle, désormais un murmure bouleversé, les « socs » ont peut-être des mots. Puis-je faire des prononciations excessives et dépoussiérées en répétition laissant les choses tomber, aussi abandonnées une minute, le sillon commun d'une oreille effleuré par les phalènes, des phalènes la pitié et le battement, les caresses des pinceaux spécialistes, très caractéristiques, battement d'ailes ou rien, quel est ce iota De circulation qui parvient et où As-tu mal entendu le verbatim quelle est la probabilité pour que tu aies satisfait à l'accident susdit avec des cigales et de modestes notions de commotion plein les oreilles Un instrument à cordes avec un système d'alerte rapide, des prises alternatives portant le poids du surmesure. Merci.
irritability, a word, has words with, may I have a war, constituted of alternative takes, whereupon an accident is to say, or sting, letting things down, where did you put the unconditional love, take this take, uninterruptedly an ear, tapped flat, with a tincture of hit or miss, move and be moved, is misheard verbatim. The bent sound played on the ride symbol in ticklish oncoming traffic. What's this? A stringed instrument with a prominent forehead taking the brunt of a word, probably the word for go, the word up, a comma. For a few odes not found on the native scale, hereafter a mumble in upheaval, plowshares, may I have words? May I make pronunciations? Much and dusted in rehearsal, letting things fall also, unattended a minute, and ears common furrow as brushed by moths, moths pity and beating, Brushes are specialists, very characteristic beating of wings or nothing. What's this, Iota, of oncoming traffic, and where did you mishear verbatim? What's the probability you did satisfy the said accident with cicadas and a smattering of swords, an earful, a stringed instrument with an early warning system? Alternative takes, taking the brunt of bespoke. When he's the most interesting, when he is at, he is most at rest, when he is mostly a surface, when he is at most slaughter commemorative, when most self or a much, much improved antihistamine, when he is infinitesimal, infinitesimal information, most costly intercom, clung farben, and the ever lovely Glen Bronca, hideous to normal aging, but not to quarrel, withdrawal, improvising, trouble, a last minute substitute, beset opaque and local bandwidth, from cities, a crash course in octaves, a lot of in this inhaling, to induce or persuade, to participate or engage, to be between, to make a difference, write, title, legal share in something, breathtaking, participation in advantage and responsibility, a charge for borrowed money, usually a percentage, an excess above, above what is due, most interesting from under a valve cracked a surge in clown farben in a studio cooled from above the art subject to impairment in the speech of the ever lovely lawn sprinkler for a costly mist's rewriting the interior mostly as surface an incentive to change one's mind to be between to make a difference in an excess above what is due Instrumentally conceived as some husky support, right title for legal share, quavers, usually a percentage of advantage and responsibility. Herewith enclosed much, much textual hassle, utmost, almost, mostly. Streams hurry, a uh, surface in octaves, palms disruptive immediately. After this, at most commemorative, however you may be beset, assailed by ornaments, information, harassed by appearances, rest at a premium when he is received nearest the torrent and devoted allotment of wall and floor, the level base of a room. And so very far and away, the ever lovely surge, herewith enclosed much, much t 
textual hassle, but most, almost mostly quavers, usually a percentage of advantage and responsibility. Studio cooled from above. The art is subject to change one's mind, to be between, to make a difference. After this, at most commemorative, however you may be beset, cluttered, disenfranchised, harassed by itinerant appearances in excess of what is due, instrumentally conceived, excess, except excessive, exceedingly exchanged, exceptionally husky, does some right title legal share at a premium when he is most near the door with an allotment of wall and floor, the level base of a room, when he is most interesting, he is nettlesome wreckage. Promised, you promised effluence, effluent, effluvium, efflux. Related to uh, the discussion today, but not illustrative of it, is the following poem. Expulsion, a walking tour, with the epigraph, it caused to walk, conjecture, and yes, translation. One, walks remain, walks and their remains, Walks remain the remedial quality of lifetimes. The deadline for the verb was fast approaching. Cause and conjecture are not one, although they perform together and walk together. Expulsion from habitus, all that we have not walked. Oh yes, he walked off the stage as a remark, a stride, a strobe. He gave conjecture a run for its money when he walked off the stage. Escaping this saucer incongruously is cause to walk. Careful, watch where you're walking. At that moment, they all became naturalists on a vulnerable walk. A man appeared to possess an outlook, to have the same experience as his walking stick. The spur to walk implemented the curvature of the the. We have a major friction problem here. <laughs> yes, but is not a stretch for the practical walk. Walk don't walk, automated. Walking deregulated the bodies for the entire gamut of lightning strikes, tugs with ballet. Or concede the following vignette. At that moment, we all became Otto's story, whose conjecture runs towards Thugs deferred yet correlated to fate. Stanley's walks, self avoiding. Two. Fast falls the even tide. Breakthrough. Walking a few hours protects brain structure. He walked to the bakery to see her smile after a lost original. At the peripheries of goad, he conjectured. Is he serious, differing in nature, out of which ironic walks are? Conjecture is a prolific writer, yes, adapts effortlessly to elliptical walks. A leaf in traffic catches a superlative. <laughs> The walk cannot be said to have a vanishing point, preoccupied as it is with translation, yes. Not meant for the insolvent multitudes and muse he would wake in no-nonsense demolition or another take of mustard. He gave conjecture a run for its money when he walked off the stage. He goes 
daily from here to there. The cause is bread. She is from there, and he attains to a walk, like a practice of saying. Endangered walks. Come now to the more open air, conjecture in twilight's striped vest and stockings, how to stroll a primer. Prolific of 1790, as yes is accomplished at precipice best yet at low. Stalking through rapture, the volcano scratched status quo from our walks. The closer the smoke, the closer I to it, although it choke watercolor, fire, I say, you poison unintentionally. He flung his arms around a lost cause. Less possible was the sentence about you. Walk for the cure, receiving an infusion of revolving doors, roaring sunlight, send in our manifestos as we upon the ground support the cause, fingering the curvature of the thee, hear the search for the blackbird, and it organizes the spur to walk. Know how is taking many liberties, mm -hmm. the geneticist whispered, the American whispered louder. <laughs> Two years passed, a pedestrian happened, assisting a literal walk, he does things. Another does things with iotas, causes, <coughs> clouds, drawn back. What do you do? I walk, exclaimed the poet. And you? His. This. An apprehension and an etiquette. The geneticist concluded, my search involves the greatest difference that matters to the smallest divergence. At one last poem. <clears throat> Folding Cythera. One. Whereabouts would swear by the etiquette of the flowers were now boarding a waiting area to entitle a swath of complexion traipsing across the fair debris that might have had scenographic rebus. We shall have thought cemented prospective sympathy rather than retrospective likeness. Thought fair vinegar and encounters with Ursula Oppens at the piano. In wherewithal, exerting a glance up and down with linen deferred to be read, as sculpture in its own right, performed on the cavity. Then again, with Ursula Oppens at the piano, sentences will have thought plentifully about overtaking prospective advances to avert accommodation. What's the matter? A companion <clears throat> to warding off conclusive tragedies and likeness wherein one couple assumed to commence to pause. At this point, the text breaks off. Whatsoever now boarding a waiting area such that atmospheric perspective at arm's length is not so intrusive as to interfere with the matter of conjugating the ground upon which to place bodies as objects mindful of axionomic positions in the minuet. <laughs> at this point he breaks into a rivulet capable of raising its armpit to a condition of alliterative waiting areas. 
retreats and advances stand oriented to each other's hour before dawn. Let me restate that. Averting a tragedy are beings in favor of a wry <coughs> trespass across the unlikable metrics thereupon face off and accelerating debris for the throw of the spinet. And there are beings not going. What's bothering you? We'll have thought plentifully of embarkation away from whereabouts, whose sense data participate in it, and how does he sustain her? Here, Lennon performs a fair swath of sentences for the cavity now receiving an eventful assist from he who would get her to her feet. Is that Paul on the harpsichord? Appearances seem true in an escort on his own for the eventful throw of the initiative, discernibly of trespass and its prerogatives in a wherewithal attaining to obscure uses, damp within an encampment of fugitives. The etiquette of the flowers were to Taking leave of excerpted bodies, folding cythera, fro or from, to and for, Whereabouts now boarding a waiting area to entitle a swath of complexion suggests capillaries that might have had flowers cemented in a tempest undergoing emphasis in subconscious crease. His or her can never get almost reach, might have still to reach, have already recap pitulary memories to encounter undergrowth and others serrated edges suggestive of motives. To prospective sympathy, this is a tempest voucher. The monthly electrostatic postulate amid entities gathering up reluctant clothes and other serrated edges suggestive of motives that can never get almost reach, might have still to reach, have already recapitulary <coughs> his or her skid to entitle a swath of arm's length, segue to skin and its prerogatives. Atmospheric perspective creeps up in the best case scenario as sounds decay to afterthought for the eventful conjugal rhetoric performed on the figure, clear and distinct, likely but not likable, don't mention it, scraped against the rim. A bowl of sentences, folding discursive wherewithal era in her within earshot of he who shall have scarcely thought to assuage the pre-existing deposits of likeness. <clears throat> Stepping forward, head turned back, likeness shall have scarcely thought to assuage the pre-existing stencil performed on the figure, a palm on her whereabouts. What's the matter? Ironing the other leafage with open window to begin to fathom greenish-blue chill, companion to embarkation, in drastic posits, I am chimera, climb, childlike, chiffon, to do today. His askance operates aside, and for removing Greece from Metis, felt by placing speech on the part of a body via soft white granule of variable cycle to abet cylindrical lyric-like signs that lay a, a, a counterclockwise signet cyclone from 1765, they were ironing the harpsichord and piano together. How to, how to do today conjugal infrastructure 
in which becoming Paul does embolden the dear cohort speech of such an indictment interspersed, Ursula face to face, personally. Thank you.